up, everybody? It's Joe Lapuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneakers Show. As always, I'm joined by my two friends, my two co-hosts. First off to my right, Mr. Matt Welty. Summer's over. Almost. Wow. Started it. Started it with a little... That's a bit of a downer, uh, isn't it? A little depressing summer's over. Mesh Boy Summer has run its course. Okay. Is Mesh Boy Summer officially concluded now that summer is over? I feel like, well... Maybe let's see next year. You're the one to call it. You're, yeah. you're, yeah. you're, no, you're, I say, you're hey, the founder is, is, is of the Mesh, movement. Did, did Mesh Boys Summer s- stick? Did it uh, Did it pan out how I you were know. hoping? I think so. Really? Someone someone sent me a picture of a guy or a video of a guy and he had A6 1130s on mm-hmm. and he had a night, like a, a night's like chain mail. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mesh That's it. thing yeah. on. He goes, is he a mesh boy? You got a few shades of red. We doing fresh boy fall though? <laughs> is that yeah, yeah. Foliage boy yeah, fall. Fol- yeah. Foliage boy fall. Yeah. Foliage. To my left, you you know, we don't have to introduce him. You heard his voice already, Mr. Hi. Brendan Dunn. Hi, hello. Speaking of chain mail, did I ever tell you that my roommate in college made chain mail? No. Freshman year in the dorms. That's pretty, I mean, that's that, that checks out <laughs> in terms of who I was matched with. Yeah, that checks <laughs> out. I mean, you're you're playing uh, Magic the Gathering, maybe like LARPing on the side. And then just being Eduardo Savern on the social network with the algorithms <laughs> in the dorm. Did you ever LARP? <laughs> I've never LARPed. Okay. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, we, we knew that. For sure. But we need to do a debrief on Mesh Boy Summer and maybe check out the hashtag and yeah, see, let's see, how much see how many impressions there were let's on your little much... campaign, Wealthy. Yeah. Foliage Boy. Fall? Is... You like that? <laughs> I, I do think to some degree that that, that trend kind of dominated sneakers. Oh, we this, know that already. Summer. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It was just me you're having not. fun. It was just yes, like. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but yeah. I, I do think you're right. There were a lot of Mesh sneakers, YTK you... runners. Yep. We, we got a segment every week on here about Did it. Did you yeah. uh, trademark it? I should have, right? Oh. Hit up the legal department. You could know. have helped us out on that one. Speaking of mess, boys, how about this new Travis Scott shoot? This is funny, right? I I'm not sure what you're going to say, so I'll judge well, if it's... it's usually funny, right? Uh, it's what K, I'm, what hit I'm gonna, rate, what, hit rate. What, what I'm going to say KB? is, yeah. is that... Death ratios and have to X-pack, <laughs> experience pack. I, 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 was about to send, I was about to send that I didn't, so I'm just going to say it on camera. Uh, Uh-oh. Oh. No. This is the first time we're hey. hearing it too, folks. <laughs> this is not spicy. Okay. No, I, I saw it and I was like, damn, I didn't realize our friend Jesse Leva got a job at Nike. Back at Nike again. Oh, the Travis Scott shoe? Yeah. You think it looks a lot like what Jesse Leva was doing back in the day? A thousand percent. That's hmm. not even like a joke that's, or, or that's a not shot. a diss yeah. either. No, I'm not. It's not that. It's just like his signature. It's not a diss song, just a. His what, signature what style. It's not a diss song, just real a real song. song? Yeah. Love yeah. song? His Sorry. signature style, and we spoke about it, you can go watch the podcast episode, was mm-hmm. taking a lot of elements from Nike's DNA, but kind of in smart ways and assembling them rather than just creating flat out fusions of slapping a mm-hmm. yeah Air hybrid Force stuff yeah. yeah which never never works well Where he was more so taking you know an air trainer one upper and putting an air max one sole on yep. it and creating yep. something that just kind of kind of worked right yeah. rides the line between those two design languages and you see the new travis shoe which there's like five new travis shoes mm-hmm. or whatever the heck but there's a spirit on sole mm-hmm. big brendan dunn shoe we big mesh boy it. shoe. We big, talked about big it. Big JLP men are shoe. Out. We talked about big it a few weeks ago. Ronnie Feig shoe. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, listen to that one too. Yeah. And took a mesh toe box upper with this, what is not called cut the check shoe. I think that's just the name of the project and yes. won't be the final name of the shoe. And put a strap on it like his other, some of his other shoes had. Yep. Mesh toe box. Brown sole. Brown Swoosh, not a reverse swoosh. Were you going to see you at the tour with these on? If it, it was just, the tour just got announced. So we, if we it gonna... wasn't a Travis Scott shoe, I think I would. There may be a chance of me wearing that sneaker at some point. You know what? This shoe actually reminds me a lot of that I didn't see at first, but when you were describing it, it I, it conjured the exact image. Can you? Do you guys know what shoe? I'm conjuring. I'm closing my eyes, conjuring the image in my head right now. Do you know what shoe I'm going to compare? Does it to? have a strap or no? Yes, it has a strap. What Nike shoe? Mid 2010s. Hold on. I might throw you a hint. I hope people are playing along at home and trying to guess what I'm thinking of right now because I just saw this shoe. Not a shoe we're ever going to see again. A shoe I bought at least one pair of, maybe two pairs of. With the strap? Yep. I don't know. And let me know if I'm off. Low Nike key? Trainer Ender. Oh. Did he just remake the Nike Trainer Ender? I, I owned a see. Stussy pair of those. See, it was a SB shoe that was made for, I believe, our friend Nick Schomberger sent me a press release on it that said it was Opry or however you pronounce it, mm-hmm. snowboarding shoe. 
You know does, what it also do they look similar? Me of? Do Low they key? wealthy is, is that a safe comparison? I don't That's know. safe. Done this. Which ones? I can't see the laptop Joe, you're up, showing me. Look up the yeah trainer render. Yeah. You know what it looks like a little bit. Tell too? me. It looks like the Victor Cruz sneaker a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Look up Air Trainer One Max. Said that quick, huh? Air, Air <laughs> We're Trainer, not dismissing you. Air Trainer One Maxim, and I feel like that is one that it looks a lot like as well. well. Trainer, yeah, no, but with the Air Max One sole on it. Welty, how do you like mm. my Trainer Ender comparison? Yeah, Trainer Ender. Am a I A little off? bit. I think it's not enough running. Where did he post the shoe? Did he post the shoe on his IG? One Instagram, thing that but you I think Victor through. said it oh. in the Slack, though, it looks different every time we see it. Yeah. If you look, there was another one that we posted. Yeah. There was a pair that had the same tongue from the Jordan 5 on it. And it's almost like I'm joking around in my head where he says, cut the check. And I'm like, oh, are you cutting out different parts of Nike DNA and plastering it on the same shoe? And mm. Cut and cutting the yeah. di disrupting Pieces. the yeah. check? Oh my <laughs> cutting the check. Yeah. So I'm conflicted by the shoe as well because i feel like on some level we could take credit and say nike's listening to us and they heard how much the spirit on needed to be back in the mix and they threw a spirit on soul on here of course that's not actually how this worked that's me being totally facetious yes. but if people want to throw some credit for that shirt we think we'll maybe take any credit we could get we think that maybe <laughs> travis was a massive spirit on fan <laughs> I could see him enjoying the Nike Spiridons, yeah. you know, Zoom Spiridons. I feel like maybe there's an old photo of him in a Spiridon somewhere. But also, and again, if you want to give us credit for that, beautiful, we love it. They w weren't listening to me because I keep saying stop making shoes for him and they keep making shoes for him. So oh. shows how much they my... Threw, they threw your well, recommendation think... out the window? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we look at the photo from uh, where he debuted him, he put OK shoe with like the world's worst pants. <laughs> did, did, did you see, Joe, you saw the pants? The baggy pants? Yeah. That's not the world's it's worst not. pants. Just stop Bro. hating. I wouldn't wear that pants. We need to, are we, do we really need to rehash a kick wear? No, uh, Jenk, <laughs> I thought uh, Jenko's. Same thing. Uh, the, pants hit, are getting baggy. You're hitting the rave in those, Joe? I don't think I would, but to each Snap his own. Snap on the glow sticks and go crazy. Will I see you at house? I say never yes? put a glow stick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Never. The breaking news. Have you? That you've come to call. Have you? Your mouth? I don't, I don't, don't know. Don't, didn't glow sticks go in? You hit the Akinelli? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> didn't people, like, party with them in their mouth? Don't, I don't mean, I'm act sure so the... innocent and naive. Don't act ignorant. I didn't. Did you? I mean, I'm sure if it was like... He's, he's, he's dodging the question. sure if it was like 1998 and oh, you're Oh, so like, you did. No, I'm just hold like... on. Let me set the seed. <laughs> if, you're, if it's 1998 Paint and you're... Picture. Doing ecstasy and listening oh, to no. listening to <laughs> Prodigy, the other Prodigy, but also R.I.P. as well. But mm -hmm. Prodigy, yeah. Yep. Okay. You <laughs> didn't you answer the question, but I'm just gonna think that you did, and that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. But would you wear these, Joe? I know it's a white shoe, but which ones? The Travis. That um, shoe different colorway. If not, I can sell you a pair of the Trainer Enders. No, to the Trainer Enders. <laughs> I don't know if I would wear. Maybe. When's I think last, I would wear a black color. Right? When's the last time you wore a Travis Scott sneaker? You have some of them, right? You have yeah, some of the khaki. When's, when's shoes, the last yeah. time you wore one? Complex Con. Which one? It was interesting because I think it's two Complex Cons in a row, I wore the Air Force one with the zipper, which okay. I know wasn't your favorite. Also not my favorite. I know. I was speaking for both you when I said not your favorite. Okay. Uh, I think, and then I wore the Travis Lowe's, the... First lows, the black and brown. Oh yes, yes, the, yes. The yes, ones the one, that you the like. The ones, the yeah, ones. Yeah. So the the. Do you pink laces in them? I don't think I did. I might have. It was complex con. I might have did one pink and one feels white. Feel, feel a little pink, frisky. One, yeah, you know, a little <laughs> froggy. But yeah, uh, those were the last ones. But you guys, that's not saying much because I've been wearing the same shoes over and over again. Hey, I got a question for you. The whole audience wants to know: When are you getting Travis Scott on sneaker shopping? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, maybe one day. One day, inshallah. Maybe the last one. I would love that. Really? Would that be series finale? Yeah, maybe. Who would be the ultimate walk off, sign off? Jerry JLP Seinfeld. drops the mic. Jerry and, Seinfeld. And then you fade to black. More so than Michael Jordan? No, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I mean LeBron. Trap. Yeah, I have the same like Travis. You're yeah. close to LeBron once, but. Okay. Any other secrets you want? <laughs> hey, I didn't. I didn't say any secrets. Uh, let's get Were him. Were we? <laughs> let's yeah, get no, him. Riled. I don't know how we close. We're Welty, close. Welty, uh, I want to try and rile you up. Let me know. Oh, him? Yeah. Let me know go. how you feel about this. Did yeah, this shoe him. make you feel anything? Get him. <laughs> get him. <laughs> the mischief big bape boots. 
No, not really, to be honest. Some custom footwear just showed up at the latest Bape eh, fashion show. Who cares? It's just like on the cares? runway in Japan. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Damn. I, we we really, tried. But who cares? The fashion show. Who cares? Are you ready to admit you were wrong on mischief? No. I, I think all my criticisms were like fairly pointed at them. And I and what I had said about mischief mm -hmm. was I think they're much better being a Willy Wonka of sneaker game than they are trying to make edgy trolling for yeah and the do you feel like they've done that well the willy Wonka? i feel thing? like it's worked out much better for them yeah yeah so i will say the bait boots i don't think we needed this this is not a shoe that's releasing it's kind of a pseudo custom mm -hmm. they, they sold they, them a bunch of pairs. yeah they tried to make noise with it didn't really work out for them uh, that's no, the thing bape bape not mischief yeah that's no, so what like, i mean like this I, little project it's like eh, who cares and also the big red boots thing it had its moment i know we did the crocs thing i know it was it was a fun time it happened i feel like it passed. Let's it, move on I to think, the next Yeah, time. and I think, I think they, they've passed it, too. Yeah. The big red boots thing, yeah. I think but the, the to big, be honest... I mean, they got more coming. We'll yeah. talk about that soon. And I still think Halloween. I always said, I think Halloween, you're going to see them. The biggest yeah. issue just it wasn't it wasn't a functional shoot. If they had created something that was just... Seth Rollins said it was functional. Okay. You're going to go against CrossFit you? Jesus? Uh, he said, and your friend ran the marathon in it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> How a, is that not functional? You know, in a, in a person's... Yeah. My friend Heber said he almost like legs were going to fall off of his feet. But with that said, it, I mean, realistically, if it's not something that you're just going to put by the door and say, hey, I can wear this No, today, imagine but... just getting the morning no, coffee. No, I mean, but if, it, but if it was something that was cool and viral that, hey, I can maybe actually wear this on a semi-regular basis, I feel mm -hmm. like it would be such a bigger thing. Yeah, but it couldn't be bigger. It's the, the big, big red boot. Red. Yeah. Can you imagine just having those by the door and doing normal? <laughs> just you, you have like the most comfortable Solomons or Hoka, and then the big red. Yeah, boots I'm gonna go for big. I'm gonna go for big red boots. Also, what apartment would you have to have to where someone walks in and those are just by the door? The first thing you see. <laughs> like, what if we chop them down? What if you turn it into like a slide? Has anybody done that? Like right. or turn them into a low top? We can project for you. You think so? <laughs> you think, you think I think. So? <laughs> I think the issue is is that the front of the shoe is yeah. so like bulbous mm -hmm. that if you were to cut it down i don't think it would st stay to your foot mm. we'll, we'll get dom on it we'll get we'll get the shoe surgeon to work his like magic on these <laughs> shoe surgeon things that we've been seeing lately can also tie this back to big jlp sneaker energy right now <laughs> shoe surgeon been doing custom pairs of the drake knocked glides yeah. um a hundred thousand for the chrome ones I saw I didn't uh, see that. the pink, and they have chromes in those like kind of rivets. And they're worth hundred thousand dollars. That's what I, I mean. That's what an Instagram. Sometimes, sometimes those I feel like hundred thousand. He puts a he puts a little fudge. Dom, good dude. We've had him on the show, our, all multiple our programs. But I think he fudges the numbers a little bit. I don't know if it came from him though, and I don't know if it came from him. So, but yeah, the pink uh, knock the glides, one of ones. I'll tell you, Dom. So many guests on sneaker shopping lately have been referencing Dom. And and his special makeup. So he's but, props to Dom. He's but a there's hard the photo yeah. you you posted over the weekend. It or made this into will be the two, episode two. last week's episode. Yeah. Yeah. The knock the glide. Yeah. Big big sh your shoe lately. I like it. <laughs> he's keeping close track of big JLP shoes. <laughs> yeah. You, also big Arthur Carr shoe too. Let me say this. You have had a lot of success with that campaign. You know, if if, if, if it turns out it's that Nesh Boy Summer didn't yes. generate the number of impressions we great were thinking, point. great big point. JLP shoe what? did. Great point. Big JLP big, shoe is taking off. Big JLP off. shoe uh, took off way more than Mesh Boy Summer. Well, I've had people hit me up on both ends, but I will say though that I do think <laughs> that hey, just throwing the idea out there. Okay. If, if they ever want to make merch for us again, mm -hmm. I don't know if it could ever happen, but hey. Leave in the comments if you'd like to see us make merch. Who knows? Okay. If you just made a shirt that just said Big JLP Shoe on it, and that's all it says, I feel like people would buy that. Maybe I'll do it. Let us know in the comments. Has yeah. to be, has to be a black t-shirt. Going to grab the Gildans? Get the blanks going? Yeah, listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Producing the Fight Factory, maybe? Yeah, we'll do <laughs> a it. Kit part, collab yeah. part, part of the Monday program? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I do like what Ronnie uh, did recently for the U.S. Open where he took all those archival Adidas tennis silhouettes and did them in the white and blue. Oh, I thought you... I'm hitting them with the chef's kiss. SNS as well, they also had a pack of just classic Adidas shoes. I think it was kind of white and gray or white and silver. Those supposed to be like a so rotation program. Yeah. The Ronnie ones, though, to me, just... I'll take the SNS ones. You know I like a white and gray shoe. You know yeah. I like a plain white but shoe. But the white and blue ones to me, they're doing like the, the Edberg torsions and stuff. Ooh. Speaking about white the and Rod blue. The Rod Lavers. Yeah. Speaking about white and blue, we pulling up to the Giants' kith. 
game. Am I invited? I don't know if it's a game. You saw the NFL collaboration. They had the kith in the. Yeah, uh, I didn't get an invite. Yet, I so. saw that. I yeah. didn't get. I didn't know if it's a game, but maybe Kayvon, we do it. We knock out all our friends at once. Yeah. Kayvon, Ronnie, we go. Yeah. Are you going to attend the Giant game? How's the relationship with Kayvon lately? <laughs> I could shoot him a DM. We could see. Okay. Hey, what's the What's the tailgating situation looking like with you, Ronnie, and Pecos? No, Pecos. I thought I was going to get invited. Well, Pecos has a real tailgate, which I yeah. I never been to, but apparently it's. Very, very thorough. Me, I do a little bit of, uh, you know, sauce. I do, I do like the skinny sausage. We do, what else? Uh, it's Humble. No, hold on. Let me think about this. <laughs> do a little skinny sausage. What is skinny sausage? It's like the chicken chivalade, it's called. It's like uh, Italian sausage. Sausage and peppers, obviously, but Pecos mm-hmm. has... Forget about it. I think Pecos, ha- Pecos goes to every home game that he's in town. I think he has a crazy, crazy tailgate. If Ronnie does do some sort of Kith Giants situation, kind of like he did for the Knicks, right, mm-hmm. where he creative directed the uniforms, and th- there's like maybe a special game where the Giants come out and yep. Kith Giants. How many La Puma family members are hitting you to attend that game? Um. Well, my cousins have season tickets. Okay, so, so they don't. Yeah, yeah they're my dad. In there. Probably wouldn't go, but would you bring Papa Premium? I mean, Papa Premium. What do you mean, Aunt Bar? Papa Premium, <laughs> rolling deep. We go into the Pe- Pecos tailgate. We, you know, of course, yeah. What do you mean, Papa oh. Premium, Aunt Barb? We're in the you talk about the hill. Uh, premium Pete. We have the Premium Pete sauce on deck. Not even oh. going on chicken sausage. We'll throw it on for the tailgate. Who cares? Pour it on everything. Oh my Absolutely. lord! Absolutely. Absolutely. All the important questions answered. Can we talk about sneakers again for a second? Sure, yeah. let's bring it back. Did you see the viral TikTok about the van sneakers left out on the street? Yep. I, I don't <laughs> I don't have TikTok either, but yeah. I, I saw the video. I feel like this happens a lot of times where there's some controversy on social media that is lacking the full context or explanation. They just see some random clip and then there needs to be a community notes on X about it. Like, this did not actually occur. Yeah, so this woman in Philadelphia went viral for uh, kind of voicing her concern over seeing all these vans out on the street. And this actually happened with Nike a few years ago here in New York City where there were a bunch of slashed up sneakers out on the street. And people were questioning, why don't they just donate these? Why can't you do something more productive with sneakers that you're not going to sell? We reached out to Vans, got a statement on Complex. This is a story from Victor Dang. Shout out to Victor and Riley for always working hard on those. But Vans basically said something to the effect of there was like mold on the shoes, so they actually weren't sellable i think the exact quote was the products were deemed unsafe to donate due to the organic growth caused by external and environmental factors they also said they're gonna look into the situation see how they can be better about what would be the bigger controversy if vans leaving slashed up shoes out in the street yeah or vans donate sneakers to the less fortunate and everyone like catches like mesothelioma from the yeah i mean you can't nobody nobody deserves moldy sneakers they said vans will always prioritize the donation of usable products to those in need after investigating the situation our walnut street location we've confirmed that these products were deemed unsafe to donate that said we are actively revisiting our retail protocols to ensure that products are properly recycled it's a it's a question we've come up in our own lives of when you're done with a shoe, what do you do with it? I, I think yeah. I said on here last week yeah. that I was ready to retire my racing shoes. And part of me wants to just put them out on the curb for somebody else to inherit them. But also, I mentioned it was the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly, the you, first pair. I mean, tense running shoe. And it's like you don't it. want some yeah. random person just like no. walking around in those. So totally. I guess I got to You try to bring them back. You try to bring them back. You put the Jason Mark on. You see how far you get. Yep. If not, you give them away. <laughs> I, was at, I was at a little Jason Mark uh, event. At the U.S. Open in the the Amex area, yeah. The, what? Some nice gentlemen there cleaned my shoes off. Yeah, very oh, helpful. Oh wow, very helpful. But yeah, I, I think that there's like a I've come across that a lot lately. Where it's like the fine line between I have a lot of shoes that maybe hey you know I wore them ten times but they're uh, t- twelve years old and just deciding hey I'll probably never wear these again. Time to move on from it. Put it out on the yep. curb. Let yep. someone else enjoy it. I've also found some shoes where I've kind of cracked open a box and like. Hey, I wore this shoe to the match back in the day, and they're all crusty and like just the football mm. match for people. Who don't yeah, know. yeah, and they're all like crusty and just cooked or just nasty. And yeah, I'm like, you throw them out, hey, right? I'm cool with chucking those. I'm like, yeah. don't donate twelve pairs, throw away three. I yeah, think that's, that's a good. Well, that's you got to recycle them, right? You got to take them to the Nike store for to, for them to be turned into a track for. He's gonna for, take Spezzy Owls to the I'm, Nike store. Man, yeah, they take man, any they do? Yeah, I didn't know that. Anything in a at Nike this grind. point, I didn't know that. What where, where, where at? Most Nike stores should be able to handle it. At this point, I feel like if I'm going through my stuff and the majority of it 
I'm putting out there in the world for the greater good. Because mm -hmm. I get a lot of people in the comments being like, you should donate to this. You should start mm -hmm. a charity. And yep. I'm like, hey, man, if I'm like out here giving away 50, 60 pairs of shoes, yeah. and I'm not saying that as like a oh, bragging about it. Yeah. It's like, but if I have to throw away seven pairs of shoes because they're just nasty and I need to free up my space, let me live. You don't care about the environment? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Only a joke, but never forget, we're we're already contributing Im intense amounts of greenhouse gases through our campaigning for the Nike Air Kikini to, to come back. Remember that? Oh, <laughs> there yeah. were people upset about it, <laughs> oh. <laughs> about how we were accelerating global warming through our Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about retro. that, so yeah. We have to offset our carbon footprint. Yeah. Go zero. Close the loop. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Just let me know. Let me know. Nike grinds time. It's it's an There's interesting. one in the city, even. I think that at the big Nike Soho okay. store, if you give them an old pair of shoes, they should know what to do with them. Okay, cool. If not, or maybe at the House of Innovation, aka Nike Town, for, yep. for wealthy terminology. Mm -hmm. If not, yeah. they should. You should be able to go, in my opinion, to any Nike store. We, sh we should ask our guests if whether he will ever refer to that store as the Nike House of Innovation. <laughs> I don't think he's Ben. <laughs> no. Should we bring on our guests? Oh, I know we've had a we've lot. We've been of, waiting. We've had a lot of banter. You know, some of it sneaker wise, some of it not, but. Yeah. We've been waiting, and it's time. It's Bring it. Time. What a special, special guest on the heels of releasing the Blackout mm -hmm. Air Force Ones, TS Air Force Ones. We've seen some friends and family colorways floating around. He's yeah. been pulling up to celebrities. What an honor to have our friend, friend of Complex, mm -hmm. friend of all our shows. Frequent guest, a jo guy who we're always happy to talk to. Joey Crack, Fat Joe, welcome to the show. What an honor. What a Friday. To have the legend Joey Crack on the heels of releasing his Air Force One collaboration. Fat Joe, thank you so much for joining thank the show, you guys man. So much is an honor to be here. Uh, you could tell I'm really, really confident right now because your camera's got me on the fat side. You know, but I'm <laughs> slim enough. No. I'm just, no, no, I'm in the fat side. Like, like they got the sweeping belly, but it's okay. You look great. I'm Fat Joe. You, you know, I'm great. topless, Yankee Stadium. I saw yeah. that. Fat Saw that. Joey's home. Yeah. Fat boy with the shoddy was the logo kid. <laughs> yes. Yes. He is home. Why the sad face, fellow Bostonian? I'm, I'm Why happy, the man. sad I'm face? Happy, man. You guys retired. <laughs> no, this is how we started. You did that to him. Wait, no. You no. did that to he, him. No. You. I think whew, our friend, or. Our friend PG, <laughs> PG okay. had wanted to say that. How I about think, my friend too? Okay, yeah, yeah. PG and, yeah. And, and what's the guy? Double pair. I respect all sneaker collectors. At the end of the day, I love the culture. Yeah, and so a part of like sneaker culture reminds me of hip hop. You know, you have a versus, you have a battle. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, and the way I collect, this is why I know no one yeah. can beat me. Mm. To be honest with you, the way I collect is like a warlord like yeah. i collect for like all right show me this one i'll show you the sample that made that one mm. all right show me this one no i'll show you the concept sneaker that didn't come mm. from that sample <laughs> come on this my whole stuff that, like i'm like you sunk my battleship the point is <laughs> reminds me of the show where they smack you what's the name of the smack a thon the, it's like the, the slap the power they slap, slap you the power slap Dana the White's. problem is joe when the guy smacks him. He could be cock diesel, and the guy could take the smack. Mm -hmm. And so these guys were talking mm -hmm. their thing. And then I said, why don't we do this live on TV? He was pushing for it. Bring your to us. Now they're we not had a ready for me. He sold, he, sold it, he sold his shoes. He, just, he did? He just no, bought, they retired. No, he just bought it. He just <laughs> for fair. Out of, out of, no, 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 no. I want to give the fans a time frame. Okay. And I'm not I being a bully because right no, these cause people, it, hold up, these okay. people were poking the bear. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. These guys was poking the bear. Mm -hmm. And so let's give a time frame. Was it before or after Fat Joe announced, let's Look, battle on the I'm show? I'm not sure. He sold his shoes. He I bought, could tell you. He, he started he, selling no, he his shoes. A, he, bought, he bought a house. He, in I New could tell you. He started selling his shoes after I told he him, bought, let's he bought, go. He bought a house. He moved to New Jersey. He has a child on the way. Okay. In a few months. Yeah, now. This guy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I feel like maybe I didn't even know he sold his shoes. Yeah. So he, no, no, he, they both did. Bought a house. <laughs> you know, has I a know. kid. He got got maybe priorities. I don't Wait. know. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wanted that. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. You know, when the guy smacks the guy <laughs> and the stumbling. guy holds the smack, 
And he looks at him like, oh, you know, you done fucked up now. Uh, like, it's my turn. But we, I respect the wealthy for defending his friends. I love his our loyalty. Friend, his friend. his loyalty, yeah, of course. Poking the bear had to do like, like Dylan Brooks. Then he comes back with Sullivan's. What Solomon's. is this? Like a, 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 a trick? <laughs> no, wait, Yo, what are you doing, <laughs> man? Like, what are you it's doing? A, it's a good shoe. Are you clout chasing? No, no, no. no. Solomon's. They wear them, too. He wears them, he wears yes. them too. Solomon's? Yeah, let's get into it. They're hot in the streets right now, Joe. He's not wrong. <laughs> Let's talk about the shoes you're wearing. Yes. So we're I'll take them off for okay. you guys. Listen, this is probably my 25th wear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, it has nothing to do with me. I don't know. This leather is so premium. I don't know how Nike did it. Yeah. 25th wear. They've been feeding those cows grass the 25th for 30 years. wear. I actually, I not wear a wrinkle in sight. I wear the whites two times. That's it. Toss them out. This right here is on its 25th wear. Mm. And has not cracked. I, I just don't Joke get crack. it how they made it. Yeah, I did. I said it to Brendan before we came out here because he, we had the shoes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Out, yes. out back, and I and I took it out the box, and for some reason I was expecting it to be like a traditional Air Force One, you know, with your with the logos and all the touches on it. I'm like, wow, the leather on this is what they yes. went overboard. I don't on even it. understand. Yeah, was that like, a I'm gonna be, you know you? what's a sneaker that I really, really loved how they did was the Tiana Taylor Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really that leather was it's so soft. premium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And this they might have tested us like a guinea pig for some new leather because this 25 wears. That's great. Did you ask for that when they were making the shoe? No, or? no, 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 no. We made the shoe, and then when we when, when we got it, we was like, oh man, this is some premium leather, but um, only the finest. Only simply fine. Love it. <laughs> I did something special as well. You know, linen Air Force Ones. I feel like this is my a favorite shoe. one. Yeah, close to your heart. And then you see the. Oh. You see the pink socks? I see the pink socks. <laughs> I love the linens. Yeah. That's always been my favorite sneaker. I learned my first that. Wear. I learned that all sneaker. You, I always thought, mm -hmm. like, listen, of course I'm Fat Joe the rapper. Mm -hmm. But I always thought I represented the sneaker culture to, to the purest. Yeah. yeah. Right, like I went to every store you could think of, mm -hmm. Philly here, there, 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 there. I was in the hunt. I was on the line before the line. Yeah, yeah. Twenty something years, maybe thirty years, and then I learned that all sneaker collectors don't necessarily like Fat Joe, because I ran out of them linens and I put out an APB, <laughs> and I was like, "Yo, I want to buy these linens." You needed a fresh. When pair. I say nobody. <laughs> <laughs> said, Mayor had to give me his two pairs. Damn. He had like four pairs. He had to be like, here, bro, take these two. And you I thought said, you Damn. had the goodwill to where people no, were I thought ready they to were help like, out. yo, yeah. Joe, you representing the culture, yeah. you the real one. Uh, we're gonna see. And then once Kiff dropped yep. the, yep. Uh, the, 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 yeah, 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 the retro, I'm stacked yeah. up. I, after Good. that, I got too many. Do you find, speaking of that, that knowing that if someone's going to sell to Fat Joe, that you're someone so big in sneaker culture that they're going to give you a good deal or they know you have money and they no, want to head crack ain't you nobody on it. I don't even care about paying. Yeah. Mm. If it's something I want, I overpay. I don't care. Is there one you're chasing right now, currently? There's only one sneaker on earth that I don't have that I want, and it's the uh, Kanye, the purple one that P.J. Tucker has. Mm. That's it. Yeah. One. Easy twos. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Cheetah That's easy it. Two. There's nothing else that uh nobody could trinkle nothing in front of me that I'm like, oh wow. Not even a pair of Solomons. <laughs> Not even a pair of <laughs> Solomons. Let me tell you something. The next time I go hiking, yeah. <laughs> I'll wear my Solomons. <laughs> Here we it's go. A good shoe. Yeah. I use it. You know what's crazy? I met Maya mm -hmm. in high school. He was in my homeroom, and my homeroom teacher was called Mr. Sology. And he right. would say his name like he was like a superhero yeah. or something. Hi, class, it's Mr. Sology. <laughs> That's what the Solomons sound like to me. <laughs> so we might have to do a collabo. The yes. Sology Solomon. Yeah. Just the mayor. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm doing? He's here. The Don's here. Blackout TS Air Force One. Thank wow. you. Italian Joe. Or there's already Italian an Italian Joe, Joe in no. Terror Squad. But. There is definitely an Italian Joe. How you know that? Joe, come on. Wow. This guy's I'm good. There is an Italian I'm, Joe. Yeah. Shout out Italian Joe. But maybe we could put another one in. Maybe one of the best softball players that we ever wow. had in our life. Italian really? Joe is nasty. Giving Pecos the business on the... No, Pecos... Is the hamstring king? Don't go there with <laughs> Pecos because he, he's happy right now. He just got his sneakers. Okay, he cursing me out. We want to keep I got that my man sneakers. happy. 
But that man is the hamstring king. Okay. He looks the part. He wears the un nobody wears a uniform like, like Beck. Beck. He puts on the gloves. Yep. He's a lefty. He, t Same. he stretches. I mean, this guy is like a Derek Jeter of yes. softball. Yep. He takes one swing and starts hot oh, to no. first base, and he be automatically becomes the first base coach. With the cigar, I'm sure. The hamstring king. The cigar. I mean, <laughs> and I phrase that, right? the hamstring yeah, yeah, king. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Sean Beckers, I mean, I'm excited, guys, Ugh. about the sneaker release. It's a dream come true. Um, if you guys even knew who designed this originally, yeah. right? That's one of the biggest secrets that I gotta hold, I gotta take to my to my grave. I feel like you always with, get to the line of no, no, maybe you're gonna say it. But... No, no, I can't. But okay. all I can say is he's one of the greatest designers of all time. Okay. Who who was making them for me? And um, like really, mm -hmm. like the guy who made the Ferrari, the guy who made the Bentley, the the best of the best. Yeah, was the guy. You know, yo Joe, here you go. I love you. You sneaker collector. Yo, whatever color you want. Mm -hmm. Yo, this, this, this. And uh, we uh, we finally got snatched when we was about to start making like exotic, like uh, like like crocodile. Ostrich. That, that's when my guy got caught. <laughs> right, right, we we was about to start the ostrich. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you went a little. The gator, yeah. We yep, was about yep. to go yep. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They, had like, a... they had like an alarm system at Nike on those leathers, <laughs> and the second they took them out of the, nah, the vault, they just it, it was coming. It was coming. It was in full. It was going. And uh, and then he got caught. You know what I'm saying? This is the history of the TS Air Force yeah, One. It's original TS Air form. Force paying somebody Force off at Nike to make them, and then he got. Yeah, he got caught. Yeah. And were you big on those? The like it was like the two thousand dollar like Anaconda Air Force Ones back in the day. No, I got them. Yeah, I'm so you're big got, on them. Yeah. yeah, I still have them. You know, in the case and everything, I still have them. I have sneakers. Twenty. We we could play. All right, so. You know Clark Kent, who I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably could beat Fat Joe mm. or is. A, on the same level, he's a sneaker god. You know, when I was setting up for your guys, even though he loves your guys, he said, this is easy. And Clark, I'm not throwing you under the bus. You know I love you. He said, just pull out the orange boxes. Mm. And so we got shit older than little baby. Mm. I have sneakers older than little baby. I like that interaction, <laughs> no, no, though, that you fact. had. Yeah, I, like I love them. Yeah. yeah. I love little Yachty. Yes. I love 21 Savage. Yep. I love little baby. For me, hip hop, and I and I hold sneaker, sneaker collecting on the same vein is uh about the culture. Yeah. It's always been about the culture to me. They asked me a crazy question. I better stop answering this. You didn't even ask me this. They say, Are you mad at the resellers? Actually, no. Because mm. <laughs> the resell, let me tell you something. When I was a kid, my mother would buy the newspaper. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So the newspaper really cost 50 cents. But somebody would go to the store and come mm -hmm. to the building so you don't go to the mm -hmm. bodega and say, newspaper, charge. and sell it for a dollar. Mm. I mean, this has been going around forever, bartering. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So they asked me. I know Nike don't like the answer. Nobody likes the answer. But who am I to stop a young entrepreneur from waiting online overnight to make $100 on a sneaker? Flip the shit. At least they're not, rob they're not robbing, yeah. you know, our mothers yeah. in a gas station. And so besides that, of course, I love the kid that really wears the sneaker. You know, I wear the sneaker. Foolishly, I wear the sneaker. It could be a $20,000 sneaker. It could be a $30,000 sneaker. You know, I'm wearing it. No big deal. No, nah, it's not that it's a no big deal. It's that I live once. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to do what I like. And I work. My knees are hurting. My ankles are hurting. <laughs> my shoulder. I bet if I went and got an x-ray from doing lean back so much, they'll give me some type of laser or something. <laughs> I am in pain, guys. I am like Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> I am, you, seen them, you ever seen them wrestlers walk yeah. Tough. later? Tough. And they, they like, their, they put you their see body them in the air? It. Huh? Yeah, they put their body through That's it. me. Wait, 30 we, we, years but, of jumping but, up and down. Fat guy, 500 pounds, jumping, diving off stages, <laughs> thinking I'm skinny. This Right now, I'm in pain. Yeah. <laughs> put in a lot of pain. We have to address his sneakers as well, just to make sure. Yeah. We the Solomons! Yes. Right now, we can, we can actually make a cartoon of the Solomons, and that'll be their voice. Hi, this is the Solomons. <laughs> we need to get you a pair of Solomons. You bro. would like them. I would too. You would in, like them. Were these in honor of 
friend JLP to close out this somewhere. I know it's a big JLP shoe. Not this. I don't know this color, but the, the, green, the yeah. black and green pair. So. Yeah, but well, those are cool too. Yeah, I'm just I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, dude. but yeah. you know, I can't lie, right? Uh, I am a man of a certain age, mm-hmm. but one day I went up in there and I don't even want to say the brand. There's, there's sneakers that gotta be comfortable. Like yeah. they, I, I don't want to say the brand. Sure, but New Balance. Because I, re, I respect not. It's not New Balance. When you wear it, they know you're an older guy. Like, mm-hmm. but it's so comfy. Okay. Right. So I grabbed the joint, and my wife said, "If you wear that, I'm leaving you." <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. We're not wearing that. And I said, "Yo, my legs hurt." My ankles, my shoulder, my yeah. this. Everyone's bragging. It's like She's it's a pillow. She's like, bro, it's like throwing in the towel. Wear those things. Is, I never said the name. Don't yep. force me to okay. say the name. Is there, but is there a sneaker model that you used to like years ago that you find yourself that you have pairs of that you want to wear, but they're just not comfortable on your feet anymore? No, nah, you, you, I do it to my feet. Like yeah. I don't care if it's uncomfortable. I don't care. Sometimes if I want to sneak in, there's only a size 11. I take out the insole and I walk on that. I'm still I'm, so much damage on my feet from sneakers. You could forget about it for sure. Right now, I just started wearing insoles. Oh, there yeah. we go. Because I, I used to sell foot. insoles. He said insoles don't matter that they don't. I used to sell a lot when I was working at Finish Line Young, 16. He was also a retail employee where I would sell them. He, he said that insoles are BS. No, I went to Dr. Rock who's the number one doctor in feet, you know, any Nick player, any giant Rock. player, they go to him. <laughs> and he made Dr. me Rock. some specific, he's Dr. Rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now he's the coolest guy in the world. He's a big hugger. Yeah. Okay. Like, so he comes in, hey, brother, and he hugs you. <laughs> and, and, and I love this guy, but he's been working on my on my yeah. feet. Yeah. And so he made me some specific insoles. I can't tell you it's working yet because yeah. I just started. Okay. I hope you got your foot doctor a pair of TS Air Force Ones. That's a great concept. I got to go see Dr. We, Rock. With we got to set him yo, up. Yo, bro, I'm running. Like, be careful what you wish for. You know, I'm, I am now the delivery man. <laughs> so I, when I, did people you decide, don't want them sh- unless I deliver. <laughs> when did you decide you were going to hand deliver them, which mm-hmm. is a lot of work? Yeah. When did you decide that? And then I have another follow-up question after that. I'm just a hustler. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't want to tell you terrible stories of my past before mm-hmm. rap music, but I was always a daredevil mm-hmm. at making money, marketing, and promoting. And, uh, you know, when I hustled, uh, unfortunately, there was a time where, damn, I don't want to get that graphic, yeah. but there was a time that the fucking National Guard came to the Bronx and locked down every block. The National army mm-hmm. guys not the police the yeah. army and they were walk they were going around like if it was like a uh like vote for me and they were like please don't use this type of like say the fentanyl of that the fentanyl of that time sure. so they was out there speakers it was lights it was this i was the only gl- guy in a 10 block radius to keep popping out every five minutes, like, yo, myself, yeah. mm. like Risk. going yeah. back. Like I'm, I've, I've always been v- very, very aggressive. And so with having my own sneaker, being out there, I got to do what I got to do to bring awareness to the sneaker, yep. to bless the people that I love, their contributions to the art form of hip hop. Um, some people say, yo, give them the poor people. Well, we are. <laughs> sure. We are giving them to poor people. Mm-hmm. We are giving back. We give back all the time. We got like 300,000 in clothes and sneakers that we're giving back in the next week to the schools in the Bronx that we constantly give back. Mm -hmm. But there's people that I love and I respect in the culture and I want to bless them. And I want to be the first to give it to them before you could just buy it in the store. Is there one person who you really want to give them to? Not Not more than anyone else, but one who you're like, I... This may be like a left of center person who I'm going to give him to, but this is who, if if I had to pick Michael one. Jordan. Okay. Hand delivered. MJ. Yeah. Make that happen, right? Yeah. I got some surprises coming. Okay. Yo. Okay. <laughs> I got some surprises coming. All right. <laughs> if not that level, maybe even bigger. Okay. So it's it's like, I got some surprises. This It does not stop. It does not stop till you finally 
put on your Instagram, you go, whoa, like yeah. this guy, he got to stop. Like, they're going to force me to stop. They're just going to be like, yo, you got to stop. MJ says like, hey, I'm in this area. I'm in oh, no, I'm I'm across country. Anywhere. Are you, are, okay, you're flying. If he says Italy, I'm going, you know who tried me? Nori. I said, Nori, okay. I want to send you the sneakers. He sends me an address in like a Malfi coast. I said, <laughs> I see it, Nori. It's gonna stop. It'd be out before mm. the, 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 it Cust gets through customs yeah, and right. all that. And so he FaceTimes me. He's on a beach in Malfi Coast. He says, "Why I can't get my sneakers in the Malfi Coast?" <laughs> I said, "Man, life is good, huh, Nori?" <laughs> but um, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. You know, the other night, little baby yeah. did, sold out Madison Square Garden. So I had to wait till like three in the morning because he went to the hotel to change. Then he had an after party. Mm -hmm. And I and I realized that night I'm not a rock star no more. It was like they was like, "Yo, rocking, everybody smoking, having the best time." And I'm like, "Yo, I'm just trying to get this kid these mm -hmm. sneakers and go home so fast so go I can bed. sleep." Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We at that point. Does Mark Wahlberg get a pair? One billion percent. You know, Mark Wahlberg. I have an interesting story with him. Mark Wahlberg gave me uh, the Wahlburgers, okay. yep. right? But I was on him. He was like from junk. You know, me and Walk Mark Wahlberg used to hang out with me in the South Bronx in okay. the Spanish clubs wow. many, many years ago. He was on Trinity Ave? He was on Trinity Ave. He was at the Fever, Jimmy's Bronx Cafe, all that. He was with me wow. in the Bronx. He's a real one. Tax and suckers? Huh? Tax and suckers. <laughs> there you go. He was out there with me, never scared, chilling, hanging out. So we got that long of a relationship, 30 years plus. And so I asked him for the sneaker. He said, yeah. And Jordan brand was acting a little funny, like, yo, we ain't got him. We did this, this. I had to get Mark on the phone with Reggie on the phone. Like, yeah. It was a whole, that's the only sneaker I was really like catching like turbulence over. Like yeah. I didn't know why, but Wahlberg then I got the sneaker. Yeah. Then I got the sneaker and then I had like a, a hustling dude from uptown Washington Heights that was begging me to give me 60 grand for the sneaker. Wow. And I'm it's, it, and I'm not lying to you. I was tempted. Yeah, take Slight, you back. Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. I was like, I said, oh, no. Mm. I'd be disgusting if Mark knows I got tempted this. Tempted slightly, TS. Tempted slightly, <laughs> there TS. Goes. There you go. Man, you should write <laughs> you should write rhymes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo. I said, I said, I can't sell it, bro. He kept coming every day. It went from 40 to 50 to 60. I was like, same with um the Virgil Air Force One uh, Louis Vuittons. Okay. So yeah. they gifted me a purple pair. Beautiful. They sure. was on me to give me 100,000, wow. 100 some thousand for sure, that you sneaker. said no to 100K? Yeah, I can't do it. You a think gift it was is weird? a gift. Some people were selling those. Do you think that that was weird? Man, it was so tempting. They was, they was offering over $100,000 for that sneaker. Mm -hmm. And even Fat Joe, who has money, was like, damn, I could use 100, but... Mm -hmm. It, it's not in my DNA, yeah. you know, for some, to sell a gift. You yeah. know, I can't sell a gift. Yep. Who knows? Maybe rules to be broken soon. One day. <laughs> Do you think at all about the resale stuff in terms of how much the shoes are going to go for? I mean, we talked about it earlier, but like, do you care? If they're not going for a lot on the secondary market, do you want to see them do well? Because some of the kids, they they use that to to rate how well a shoe is perceived. Well, that's dumb. You don't feel and that? And I argue with kids at my stores all the time. By yeah. the way, up in YC, you ever in New York, the hottest sneaker store in the game. Every location. What are all the Every locations? Every location. We in the Bronx, 136 and 3rd Avenue. We in Washington Heights, 158 and Broadway, 207 from, and uh, Dykeman. We, we're all over, mm -hmm. right? But the point is... Um, I argue with kids all the time. If I see a Solomon, mm -hmm. all jokes, that I really, really like, I'll say I like it. They'll be like, oh, that's whack. But how is it whack? Yeah. It doesn't resell OG. It doesn't. Like, that's whack. You can't rate the sneaker off of what resells. Mm. And um, and so, that, yeah, I never got into that. But more power to you, however you judge sneakers. I judge sneakers off the beauty. Yeah. I judge sneakers off the color wave. The leather. The lever, the meaning of it, you know, it's always a story. But does know? it make you, you just mentioned like the Wahlburger 4s and the Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. Air Force 1s. It doesn't make you think that the shoe's a little more, Not, I mean, they're obviously rare, but it doesn't think you, it's a little more special knowing how much they're worth? No, I just told you that I could have yeah. made $160,000. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, um, 
No, I never seen a sneaker that I was like, it's so expensive, I gotta have it. Now, I've paid serious money for sneakers. Serious. What's like, the most? Nah, it's just in, in the hundreds of thousands. What wow. shoe For a it? single shoe? Yeah. No, wow. Joe. What shoe? Yeah. It's a couple you'd never seen before. Or you never heard before. I was gonna whip your guys' asses with <laughs> <laughs> I have flying saucers. I'm not gonna exaggerate Wait, all, all, all the stuff in the news right now about the aliens exist. Bro, I have AI. I, it was your AI. I got shit. AI. <laughs> I got sneakers that when I bust them out, uh, it's so disrespectful. Yeah. When I pull them out, you just there's nothing you could do. If you're standing there and I pull it out, you're like, oh, <laughs> you've seen a couple. Yeah, I've seen a couple. Yeah. When you yep. pull them out, you're like, sheesh, yeah. what is that? Well, <laughs> when Michael Jackson. Made the glove. They made one Jordan to match the glove that Michael approved of. And here's your ass. Is that a real okay? thing? Yeah. It's things like that, it, man. Yeah, floating around in the world. Yeah. Personal, you know, one of one things that's like you you just want to kill yourself. If you're a true <laughs> sneaker collector and you love sneakers, you want to die. Yeah. Like you'll be there like convulsions. <laughs> like, yo, like, you know. And that's how that, that's really how I collect sneakers. Of course, I collect every regular sneaker. Yeah. Every single day, I go to my house with maybe ten pairs of sneakers. Mm. Regular uptowns, regular Jordans, regular. Yeah. You know, everywhere I go, I just you know sometimes I pop in a snipe store. Shout out to my brother DJ Khaled, mm. the best. That's right. Got yeah. the big, 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 big. I gotta big see store that. I gotta see that. I gotta go visit that. It might be the flyest store ever made. Wow. Have you you Got mentioned it. getting all of these rare shoes? Have you made any progress on trying to get any more Mike Bibby sneakers or not? No, he choked me out. I know, yeah, yeah, I know no, that. He did. You know I'm Famous going to story. Phoenix this weekend. <laughs> <and> I'm definitely <laughs> walking in Mike Bibby's house. I mean. Mike Bibby has 10 locks. He goes, <laughs> he don't even trust his kids with these sneakers. <laughs> Mike Bibby is like, um, apparently Mike Bibby only got paid with sneakers. Yeah, yeah sort of. He didn't yeah. take no money. He just wanted. Michael Jordan loves that story. He said, "We just used to back up trucks." Kind of a good investment. Oh, yeah. I also yeah. like that because he had a lot of seventeen lows, and like the seventeens are coming back. So that's it's good. That was a big Bibby shoe. No, no, no. Bibby got. <sighs> Bibby got this one Vancouver Grizzly. <laughs> Yo, hey, yeah, I'm trying to. Go. I'm gonna go for it Sunday, man. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get beat yeah. up. You know, because Bibby is like really cocky. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's short. <laughs> Because he's up, uh, up against seven footers. He's really yeah. like 6'3", yeah. cock diesel. Yeah. So, you know, he, ch he, he choked me out last summer. He, he was a little drunk. <laughs> you know, he's my brother and I love him. He's a fish you terror squad from day one. Shout out to Dane, Team Dime. Yeah, Team But Dime. I never seen nothing like that. It yeah. was just like going in like a foot locker from the floor to the ceiling. just Or a snipes. Or, or double snipes. Yeah. Try that. The walls to the sky. With sneakers and you have like ladders that you could climb like it's just this it's, it's incredible one thing in his interview that that you recently did i like you said that like when these are on the shelves or you're going to try to buy like two pairs a day yeah well, to describe like talk about that I, truthfully i only got two three pairs that no. they sent me no, no truthfully two or three wow. joe i only That's have crazy. like two or three pairs i swear to god each colorway each colorway yeah each yeah. colorway two three pairs and um and so I'm going to every store to buy two when it comes out. Two, 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 two. Before you know it, I have 20 sky blue, 20 black and white, and I'm good. I'll put that in an extra garage, and yeah. whenever they, I need them, I need them, because I know when this run is over, it probably never come back. So I got to get my hands on 20 of them. What's the better feeling? Getting someone to slide you these custom, like, that they were doing back in the day, and you were the only ones who had them? Or no. getting getting this, and you're going to go you know, into stores, and you're Joe, going to see... I don't want to lie to you, man. Waited my whole life for this. Yeah? I'm criminally underrated as a rapper. Mm. Okay? If you go through the discography, you'll be like, damn, this guy been spitting with the best of them, right? Mm -hmm. And as a sneaker collector, it's our dream come true to eventually one day have your own sneak. And it's a big dream. Yeah. Like, it's not a regular dream. Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, I'm a kid from the project, yeah. South Bronx. Terror Squad was a graffiti crew, then a street crew. Yeah. You know all about taxing yeah. suckers. And so what happens is now that we're being celebrated um, on uh, Air Force One on the 50th anniversary, 
is is sick. It's crazy, crazy. I haven't even allowed myself to get into the depression, crying mode, mm -hmm. sitting in the room by myself and, and just really thinking about it. All I know how to do is work. Yeah. And so with me, with anything I do, I like to feel like I'm in the middle of the ocean and I'm swimming and I just say, keep going, don't give up till yeah. you see land, till you mm -hmm. see land, till you see land, just keep going. Then you see land and then you're safe. Talented but survivors. Talented survivors, yes. Every acronym he's gonna you gotta give follow you. the system, Just, brother. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> is, is this bigger for you than an album release then? Or Yeah. Wow. It really is. It really is for all sneaker collectors. What this should be big for uh I don't want to use the Donald Trump thing. Donald Trump goes to jail every week and says they're trying to put us all in jail. <laughs> but it's a similar thing. Sneaker collectors, they gave us a sneaker, a yeah. real sneaker. Yeah. Global release sneaker collectors. My man Fazil in Saudi Arabia. I want to see you buy them out. Rashid from, Bel Hassan from, yeah, from in Congress. Dubai. Yeah. I want to see you buy yeah. them out. My Money. man Big Boy Chang over yeah. there. Philippine. Buy Global. them out. Yes. I want to see the movies all over. You finally got one. Yeah. Is it annoying though? Do people come at you with questions about what's, when's the sneakers drop? How do I, I know, line up? Out of control. I got yeah. cousins that I haven't spoke to in twenty five. We were just talking about cousins, years, yeah. and they got list. No, my my son Johnny, my son Bobo, my son Boo Boo, my son this. I'm like, yo, I haven't spoke to these people in twenty years. They were in Thanksgiving. I got aunts eighty years old talking about size this and this and that. I got be careful what you wish for. This is a headache. You know, yeah. I, one of my rapper friends who I'm going to see after this, okay. legend, uh, I'll tell you who, top five dead or alive, right? Jada Kiss. Yeah. Hit, hit him. So <laughs> Jada Kiss been out of town. And so he's been out of town. Yeah. I'm in New York doing my thing. He ain't been calling me back. I FaceTime him yesterday. He looks at me, he says, Yo, <laughs> nobody supports you more than me. You know I'm supposed to get those sneakers first. Well, Jada, yeah. you've been out of town for yeah. three weeks. He gave you the Nori address, the Amalfi you're Coast from, address. You're finally back. That's another thing. I messed my own self up because now if you don't deliver it, you know, Wanda Mechanic wants me to deliver the sneakers now. <laughs> like everybody yeah. thinks it ain't cool if... And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, this is out of control. Thank God it's all New York, and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's getting out of control. Going no, after I'm this. going to yeah, give, yeah, yeah. give them to him today. But I would have gave it to him first. Yeah. He just was out of town. Yeah. You're giving Eric Adams a pair of shoes? Nah, but that would be cool. <laughs> Friends and family. That would be cool. Friends yeah. and family. You know, Eric yeah. Adams, man, uh, he's a cool dude, a cool supporter of hip-hop. The way he handled hip-hop's 50 was amazing. I sort of feel like crime is down. A um, couple he, of he months ago, I thought it was event. really, really, really up. Yeah, all the but way? All the way up, but I feel like they're getting a hold on it. You know, coming after COVID, coming mm -hmm. after all the crime and everything that was going on there, this lawlessness. Because for one time, it felt like cops just wasn't stopping mm -hmm. people in New York <laughs> no more. It was just out of control. Yeah. And uh, so I think we got a hold of it, you know? And Eric Adams is a man of his word. I'll leave it at that. Mm. He's a, he's made promises to me and came through with it, and and he's a man of his word. That you could take that to the bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Friends and family. The period when the TS Air Force Ones were, you know, elusive and exclusive, and you guys were getting them made. By, oh, they was going for ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, was there competition at all with the Rockefeller Air Force Ones? Were you inspired no. by that at all? Like, I know that's you know, your we brother were just now. Always but... competition. Yeah, like Rockefeller and Terror Squad. Whether it was in rap, whether it was in basketball, whether yeah. it was in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we come from a city where uh, everybody's arrogant, everybody's cocky, everybody thinks they the best. Yeah. Yep. And so when I used to do an album, right, I would put a picture, first of all, I kept an apartment in the South Bronx for like 15 years. I paid the rent every day, mm -hmm. right? When Every time I did my album, I would go to this apartment. I would have a poster of Nas. I would have a poster of Jay-Z. Mm. And in my own mind, I would tell myself my music has to be just as good or even better than them. Mm. And then we added Eminem to the poster. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, every time somebody got on fire, we... We was like, oh, he got to go down. Like, we got to make that. That's that's just the, the nature of 
me and my DNA, my soul. So, Put you know, everybody has always been competition, friendly competition. Sure. What's like your favorite hip hop collaboration sneaker of all time? There's been so many. I was thinking about that on like uh, the train today, like the Yeezys, the M&M 4. Mm -hmm. what, is there one that sticks out to you? You know, your man, uh, Maya just did like a sneaker. I NBC, think it was an NBC or something. Just hip hop yeah. collabs. Yeah. First Dunk? of all, Wu -Tang Dunk? can I give you a couple? Yes. Yeah. I love that. I, I got to go with the Run DMC Adidas. Mm -hmm. Where they had the Run DMC mm -hmm. on the. Did um, you want those bad when they first came out? I got them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where they're at now. Mm -hmm. So I either lost them or they stole them or, or something. But I had them, right? The De La Soul. Dunk? The highs? Dunk high, right? The Dunk high. Yes. The De La Soul. Someone made fun of me for wearing those back what? in the day. Yes. Crazy. I still remember who. The Wu Tang. Yeah. Crazy. You got them? Um, no. Only but I could peek at Mayors. Mayor got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Matter of fact, I should have a real conversation with Rizza. I did uh uh Tribe Core Quest. Your um, Jordan ones? The, the, the Tribe Core Quest. Q tip don't have it. I raided his closet. You know, I really go in people's houses. <laughs> Get to the closet, man. Only one M L was Mike Bibby. Everyone yeah. else, he's M yeah. Eminem Air Jordans. Eminem Air Jordans. A M &M Air Jordans. Uh, are definitely right. I'm trying to give you yeah the top right now. What I gave you right now, I gave you run D run DMC run Adidas, DMC De La Soul De La Soul dunks Wu Tang, Wu -Tang you mentioned. Uh -huh. I said somebody else. Tribe Called Quest. Tribe, Tribe Called Quest. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to give you yeah a real yeah variation uh, yeah real yeah. you know what Texture. I'm saying not just your your low hanging fruit mm. we know Eminem is up there those purple Yeezys you just mentioned was that well that well we consider that like hip hop I, I think just Kanye think, West yeah. yeah I think Kanye West is just the biggest yeah, yeah. like so I <laughs> like I I feel like Different Kanye category. West is the biggest but yeah I would say the purple Kanye's if we're gonna go there I want the purple Kanye. So I've been begging PJ Tucker to give them to is me. Is that the only the me. PJ? That's like the only pair that's out there. There's it's like the an only one I know. It's the only one I know. Has there been a shoe in the past that you've just really wanted, but like that, there's only one pair out there, or you realize they just never came in your size? There's a sneaker um, that I wasn't allowed to take a picture of, but it's uh, Rip Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Uh. When they won the back-to-back -back chips in Detroit, yep. the owner of the Detroit Pistons gifted him his Jordan sneakers, but in solid gold. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't allowed to take a pick, like a pick. Like, <laughs> you know, I tried to call Mayor so he could take the, the, face the, the oh, fucking FaceTime face right quick. Right? Like, it's almost like it doesn't exist because <laughs> i never seen nothing like that in my life. Yeah, yeah. It was real gold. And then I, I, I tried to tell Pristine Jewelers, y'all, yeah. I want to make a solid gold. He was like, to bro. To put on your foot? Like to actually wear? No, just to have it. Yeah, yeah. put it on the like, like, mold. You know, yeah. like uh, on the wall, mm -hmm. you know, to have it, you know, somewhere obviously very safe. Yeah. But. You know, I think that's crazy. You look at somebody's collection and they got the solid gold. Like, I, you know, it's crazy. You, do, Those you could do Terror Squad, Air Force Ones, and solid I gold. Just, I just thought of that what, before you just said it, but okay. I give you slight credit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but just not what I was thinking. I was like, I should do it. But they said it's going to be super duper, duper expensive. Put it in a glass case at Up NYC. Oh no, they'll rob the whole. <laughs> what if you put Mike Bibby on security? <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I walked in and Shaquille O'Neal was in the dark in the studio? I told you that, right? No. You know, I no. heard the story on Rap Radar, but oh. it's an incredible story. Man, I, went, I, I had a studio <laughs> in Miami, my studio, and one day I walk in there and it's pitch black. <laughs> and all I see is the shadow of the biggest guy in the universe just sitting in the dark. And I said, wow. This is what it feels like when they come to kill you. For sure, I was dead. For, for sure, I was dead. There's a guy sitting there looking like a fucking a superhero mm -hmm. from John Wick or something in the dark. I turned the light on and Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. <laughs> you thought you were going out right he there. Said, no, no, I was dead. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. Like, not even exaggeration. You breathe a sigh was, of relief when you No, saw I thought it? I was... I said, I said, Shaq, he said, hey, big fella. <laughs> Came to tell you I've been traded to the Phoenix Sun. I'm like, mother. 
Yo, Shaq, I thought I was dead. <laughs> but shout out to my man, Drop, my engineer, Drop. He let him in the building. You, Joe, you mentioned you know the story about you going to Mike Baby's house and trying to take the shoes and him choking you out. But has anyone ever come to your sneaker closet and tried to? Someone who always tries is, I don't want to keep saying his name, but Mayor. Yeah. Right? The mayor tried to say I stole a sneaker. Okay, I got Air Force One video music box, mm, Air Force yeah. Ones, limited that Ralph McDaniels himself yeah. delivered to me over a steak, rice, and beans, mm. Spanish restaurant. So I got him, mayor got him. He comes to my house, I swear to God. Wait, Mayor you, already had a pair? Mayor had a pair. Yeah. Oh, come you on. You stole my fucking sneakers. <laughs> These are my sneakers. They were only 20 made. I'm calling Clark. I said, yo, bro, do I look like... <laughs> you had to have a sit-down Clark Mayor? Like the, do I the look Boston? like I stole your sneakers? I'm like, yo, Rob McDaniel laughed so hard when I told him that Mayor said I was stealing the sneakers. Uh, no. And the one person who has... Caught sneakers in mind. The only person could get away with his Khaled. Okay. And so he has come to my house and said, but he's cheap too. Let me give you some cereal cheapest. <laughs> Khaled is cheap. <laughs> How does that manifest? I mean, he got, I was looking for the, uh, Macklemore's? The, the, no, the black. F f fuck Macklemore. Okay. <laughs> fuck Macklemore. What? Wait, he's a sucker. What? Macklemore knows it. What? He's a good guy. No, Michael ben? Moore's a sucker. Ben? He's a sucker. What'd he do now? Or do then? I know you've been I hunting. went and found him back in the day. The okay. sixes? Promised me. The green ones, He was right? giving me the green ones. He gave me a number. The next fucking day, he changed the number. <laughs> Mackle Moore. Do you think he did that? Because it not because no, that must that has to be the greatest coincidence I've ever <laughs> you seen. Don't, in you don't my think life. you put the number in wrong or something? Nah, Mackle Moore changed the number. Then I try to reach out from different Can people that I knew Norm, and it was he was elusive. We gotta fix it. He just bullshitted me. Mm. You know, something that happens to artists all the time is they'll meet their favorite artists. Yeah, new rapper, hot. Mm. Yeah. Meets your favorite artist and be like, and their favorite artist and tell them, yeah, I'll work with you. I'll do the song with you. And they never hear him or see him again. Sure. Right? Macklemore did that to me. He frees me out. <laughs> Damn. Um, and what 100%. was the question about Macklemore? Because those are some of the most beautiful sneakers. By the way, Macklemore, I have the samples of the samples of the samples. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every pair you ever had. It was I, paid, I paid big money. Yeah. I only it was said, a lighter yeah. green. But he was okay. asking. With a shock. Asking about how Cali was cheap, right? How does that... Because he had four of these pair of M&M's. Four. And That's he too many. The he fours, wouldn't give me one. The four? Are you talking about the Yes. He always four, does not, a lot. He, of, he, was wait, the he black, had four the, of the, them. The black pair? The black okay, pair. Okay. I didn't have them at Carhartts, the time. I yeah. do have them now, the car hearts. Yep. But I was like, yo, bro, they trying to charge me 25000 I'm your brother, man. Give me one of the four. Can you give me the pair you wore? <laughs> Get the fuck out my closet. <laughs> get the fuck he got, out he, my closet. He got Chris Smokes in there? Get him out. Get him out the closet, Chris Smokes. What's up, baby? Get him out the closet. Like I'm like, yo, every time I say, yo, but I said for real, though. He said, you want me to give you get him out the, the 25000 Callis said, you want me to give you the 25000 You need 25000 to buy it. I said, no, I don't need 25000 yeah. What I need is one of your four pair. He A wouldn't give request. it to me. They're humble. It's four pair. You're supposed to be my brother, my daughter's godfather. Yeah. Like, yo, give me a pair. I'm about to cop them. I copped them. Good to go. As far as Chris we know, he clean. still has four pairs. No, he definitely has four pairs. Um, but uh, anybody who's ever come to my closet is Khaled. Khaled comes to my closet and say, yo, I need these. And somehow he'll sweet talk me and walk out with them <laughs> shits. Is there anything that's ever come up missing in your closet? Yes, that... yes. I don't want to call him a thief, uh -oh. but no, no, no. But my son oh. didn't know the value in the sneakers I was collecting. Yeah. And so he would wear them to school, and then friends would ask him for it, and he would give it to, to him. He don't even know that he's giving them yeah. $1,000 sneakers and shit like mm -hmm. that. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of shit came up missing when he was in that high school era mm -hmm. where he was trying to wear a different pair of PEs every day. Wow. Like, like it's a joke. He's a size 10. He's wearing size Damn. 12, four pair of socks, 
I'm like, bro, every, I said, that sneaker was worth $6,000 when you put it on. When you stepped in your school with it, it's worth 2500 mm. Do you understand mm. that? He, he didn't understand. A few years ago, you sold some of your collection to 2Js, Urban Necessities. Mm. Ha, have you already, do you feel like you've already gotten that amount of pairs that you sold back? Oh, yeah, for sure. You recovered? So what I was doing was getting ready for his guys. Okay. Right? So I was getting ready for his guys because for a while I had went quiet. Yeah. It was off the grid. Mm -hmm. No cell phones, staying away from the satellites, the drones. 5G. I'm 5G. I'm Who in knows? the bunker, <laughs> minding my business. And then these guys started going boom, 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 Coming boom. Coming out of the woodwork. Like, yeah, they like start ants. banging their chests yeah. and all that. There's a sneaker collector who's who I really respect, mm. right? I don't know him. I know his work. Um, but his collection is sick. Like, I almost think he was like, damn, with Kobe Bryant. I don't oh. know how to explain it to you. So he called me out one day. Called you out? Or called, called me out. out. Like, yo, yeah. Joe, let's go at it. Yeah. Right? He has a sick collection. Who is right? this? Dependable J? I can't tell you who. Okay, okay. Um, He could be on the list, okay. right? I'll give you that That's much. my best He's guess. on the list, right? Okay. I sent him one picture <laughs> of a <his> sneaker. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and the man no. said. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> no way. No, the man no said. Way. I sent him one, one pick. One? <laughs> one pick, and the man stood down like. <laughs> <laughs> now, matter of fact, the word he hit me back on the DM was "well played, Joe." It's okay. What was it? it was something stupid. Something we've never seen before. Yeah, something you definitely never seen before. And so, you know, every now and then I let some things go out. You yeah. know, I, I, I let the uh, Rubik's cube joint a couple yep. of years. You know, it, it might look crazy, dumb to anybody, but it's a fun shoe. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it got a lot of action out there. Yeah. They just did the Rubik's Cube Air Force Ones. Did you see those? No, I didn't. Yeah. Regular inline colorway. Regular shit. They got the Unos, the this, this, that. And so speaking of 2Js, yeah. I was really a hoarder. Mm -hmm. And so I was just really just making room for, you know, the real yeah. collection to start acting up. So, you know, plus I wanted to let fans be able to cop some original stuff. You know, I gave them some stuff I'm mad I gave them. Mm. I gave him, uh, I should have never sold my PlayStation Air Force Ones Classic. or my Vibe Good. Air Force Ones. And Good I want them back. And so I reached out to 2Js. I said, 2Js, can you see the guys I sold them to? Yeah. Or sell it back? He said, I told you. 2Js was telling me, don't, don't sell these. Don't, yeah. don't, he, he, you know, don't sell these. Don't sell these. And I'm like, ah, we making room then? Nah, I need them back. Like, I need them back in my system. And did you get them back? No, not yet. I'm working on it. Mm. Joe, where do you think that, that line crosses? Because I feel like I've been going through that a lot lately of having a large sneaker collection and the hoarderness of it and where you're like, hey, I still have a lot of shoes, but you know, maybe I can thin the thin the lineup a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. Recently, so I have several closets. Mm -hmm. So I have like a daily closet. That, you know, I just go in and I got all the stuff, this current, this fly. And um, and recently I went in there and seen a bunch of sneakers that I know I won't even wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then maybe it's time um, to give to the homeless, mm -hmm. give to the immigrants. You know, you know, I, I have a woman in uh, Miami that works for me, Patricia. Mm -hmm. And for years I've been giving her like tons of clothes, Louis Vuitton, there's a problem with being an artist. The problem with being an artist in social media is you wear something One once wear, or twice. You can never wear tough, it again. And they don't want you to wear it again. Yep. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and so she doesn't know. She goes to her church and gives it to them. And, you know, they either get the sneakers mm -hmm. or they get the, the clothes. And I've been doing that for years. And it's time to do that here in, uh, in Jersey because I got a bunch of sneakers that I'm definitely not going to wear. And, and I could give it to the less fortunate, you know. You ready to downsize a little bit? I'm ready to give the throne to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like I'm ready to just get into the regular person's, yeah. like not Advocate. so much as sneaker, sneaker collecting because, I, I, look, there's stuff I don't got, but for the most part, I got everything. 
Like, I don't even know how to explain it to you. Like, nothing's coming no more. There's people who got all the top resellers in the world just say, you got this, Joe? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Joe, you got, like, they, it's over for them. Yeah. Like, I done dried them out. I done bought from the Republicans, bought from the Democrats, bought from the Independents. <laughs> you know, Everyone. I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I mean, I don't went to the enemies. I don't went to everybody. Hey, I know we're not supposed to get along, but if. You want to make some real money, uh, mm -hmm. what do you got? And then, sure enough, they send the pics, and I'm like, oh, no, no, I need those now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on a plane right now to go get them. I got to get them. Like, I got to, you know, so it's like it's almost at a standstill to where it's not really being fun. Like, like yeah. the hunt is not being fun. and Because they, uh, they're like, yo, this guy, he got it. You like custom shoes at all? You ever do the customs? Only shoe surgeon. Yeah, yeah he did those. Shoe really surgeon like you, is the yep. only one. Shoe surgeon should have some sort of deal somewhere, mm. not just himself. Like, he's the best designer in the game. How about back in the day? You ever get, like, Dapper Dan Air Force Ones with the Louis no, print on them? I don't think so, no. Yeah. I, I really wasn't a big uh, custom guy. You know, sometimes I feel bad when they give me customs and yeah. they take their time and they sure, got a yeah. big pun yeah. on them. They yeah. got Fat Joe. They got – so I thank you, you know, but I'm really not – wearing them i'm not a custom type of dude i think i wore uh when we went to capitol hill with power to the patients mm -hmm. so you know we fight on behalf of all american patients you know the mm -hmm. hospitals mm -hmm. got over 100 million uh americans in bankruptcy mm -hmm. due to health care medical bills it's, it's the only you know what them sneakers cost you mm -hmm. i know what this shirt costs me you go to the hospital you don't know what they charging you mm -hmm. There's literally five people online to take the same MRI. Somebody's paying thirty two hundred. Somebody's paying four hundred. Somebody's paying ten thousand. Somebody's like, what? <laughs> if we tried yeah. this, <laughs> imagine I went to the store and I just charged. Yo, you paying a thousand for these? Yo, you paying eight hundred? Yo, you paying three thousand? Mm, right. It just wouldn't work. And so, with power to the patients, I went to Capitol Hill, the White House, yeah. representing the the patients. And so I, they made me a custom pair of sneakers that said power to the patients. And so I wore them. You got to support yeah. that, right? Yeah, I got to. You know what I mean? The last one before that was somebody made me a custom pair of Obamas. Okay. You know what's crazy is, man, I remember they came to me. I had a guy. This is almost like CIA shit. Okay. Like, he's not CIA, mm -hmm. but I'm just, I don't know, right? Yeah. So I had this white guy come to meet me in Miami. He says, hey. We want you to get the Latino vote for Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. We want you to go hard, tell about the, the Latinos that he's he's the man. This, and I already loved Barack Obama. So I was like, sure, no problem. So I'm going hard, 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 hard. Finally, Barack Obama wins, right? Mm -hmm. So I call the guy to meet me in Miami coffee shop. He comes, hey, Joe, what's going on? I said, all right. When do I meet yes. yeah. Barack Obama? Yeah. A humble reply. I got all the Latinos, mm -hmm. yeah. and he says, no, Joe. <laughs> you know your past. Uh, you can't meet Barack Obama. I said, <laughs> he said, you don't think we vetted you? Oh, I'm like, wow. oh, my God. The guy, I'm working out here getting all the Latinos to vote. <laughs> when I said I want to meet Barack Obama, he was like, you know your past. He's doing you a favor. <laughs> you can't come through like this. And, and you know, of course, I cleaned myself up so yeah. much more yeah. since yeah. then. And so now I'm able to meet presidents. But at that time, it, you know, I was on the the red list. Yeah. Maybe you pull up on Barack with a pair of these. Man, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Biden? Yeah, Biden. Uh, Get a Velcro guy, pair on Biden. Yeah, y'all got to stop. See, <laughs> he did that. Y'all got to stop. You heard what he just said? What he said? Get a Velcro pair for Biden. No, you got to stop, he, come on. you know. <laughs> no, sneakers for everybody. Nah, Barack, you got to stop. He, 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 Joe sure. Biden's a good guy, you know. Kamala Harris. Absolutely, yeah. They're my people, you know what I'm saying? And we're praying for Mitch McConnell, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know. Do we have a date yet? This is running For what? These. Soon. Okay. For some, you know, I've been so compliant with the Nike system. Yeah. No, I swear to yeah. God. And, you know, the way I do music, the way I do everything, mm -hmm. the way I've become on social media or whatever mm -hmm. is I feed off energy. Yep. And so, like, I'm almost tapped in, all jokes aside, to the algorithms. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm tapped in. I know what works, what don't mm -hmm. work. And so when the kids hit me in my DM 
and they and 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 they put the sneaker. They already got it. They got it. In the, I'm like, yeah, you yeah. know, the sneaker collectors got it. I would have had it if it wasn't the Terror Squad Air Force One. Yeah. In fact, I would have had a friend and family already. Mm-hmm. Like I would have been moving out there, right? <laughs> but my thing is, they hit me. And I put them up, and they got the sneakers in their ear, and they're like, yo, Joe, and they playing. Play. And then Nike, somebody called me from the compliance office like, where are they? Serial resellers. You got to take those guys down. Serial <laughs> resellers. I'm like, okay. Damn. Right now, that I got I got somebody on me at Nike that's the fun police. Yeah. So, you know, I'm over I mean, there no like, one. yo, they're making movies. You know, I'm with the hype. I'm yeah. like, yeah. oh, wow, they yeah, got them. Yo, yeah, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. And- Joe, not those guys. Those guys Damn. are crooks. Damn. Those guys are there. I'm like, okay. I don't know. But that's the way I work. Yeah. You off know, the I energy. feed off the people, yeah. off the energy. You going to um, bring some more energy to this release? We got something special planned? Definitely. Yeah. It's going to end big. We like, look forward really, to it. Really, really, really big. It's going to like, you know, the delivery man, the mailman, not Carl Malone, but the mailman, mm. Fat Joe, will deliver you know, and, I, and I'm hoping everybody uh, supports the sneaker, Yeah, goes out and buys it. You know, all my friends support it too because, you know, I'm doing this, you know, asking no favors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With me, I've just worked. Hopefully sells out, you know. In any case, my dream came true anyway. And yeah. so, you know, in life, man, you know, dreams come true. Mm-hmm. And I'm living proof of that. And so, you know, I always know every time I do a concert, I look at the crowd and people got nice outfits on and and they we know I know what they paying me, so they definitely paid a lot of money to mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. And so every single show I look at every fan and be like, Wow, it's an honor, it's a dream come true. You know, they allowed you know, we all got dreams. These people allowed my dream to come true. So shout out to Nike, shout out to all the fans out there, all the Sneaker heads, hip hop heads, it's really a, bl- a, a real blessed time for me, you know, on 50th anniversary of Air Force and 50th yes. anniversary mm-hmm. of hip hop. Um, I'm really honored for all the support and all the love we've been getting. One thing got to ask before we go. Okay. I know, Joe, you've been involved in with, with Joe, with the sneaker of the year at mm. the end of the year. Do we feel like this has to be definite? Do you want to see it on the end of the I don't sneaker of the know. year list? I'm not so egotistical about that, but it don't hurt. I could tell you what sneaker con hit me. Your man, your men, if you want me to text you, this is the greatest drop in years. You may have said that? It, Yeah. Hmm. I believe you. I'll show you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> you men said it's the greatest drop in years. Shout out to I, I'm not you men, right? <laughs> so you got to understand these kids... These kids are getting sneakers that were literally selling for ten thousand dollars. Now they get it. I saw the text. Now, now they get it. You know, and this started with Virgil mm-hmm. asking me yep. to do a Terror Squad Air Force One. This yes. ain't no BS. Yeah, I don't sit up here and lie to you guys. Yeah, I ran around. It was so crazy because I believe in giving. Mm-hmm. I'm a very giving person. So it was almost Thanksgiving, and we were giving out. Turkeys and foods, and we, we give out 18 wheelers of food in mm-hmm. each one of our stores. Bro, it's like you went to Whole Foods. I swear to God. We have two 18 wheelers. You get your turkey, you get your tomatoes, you give it. It's like they're shopping. Mm-hmm. The less fortunate, right? We give them back. My phone rings from Nike. Yo, Joe, Virgil wants permission to do a Terror Squad Air Force. <laughs> And I believe in, I'm giving to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got a blessed back, phone yeah. call. And I'm like, Virg, imagine we had a Virgil Terror Squad Air yeah. Force oh, One. Wow. Yeah. He respects you so much in the culture that he sent me a, te- uh, a DM. And that's how I started. So unfortunately, he passed mm-hmm. soon after. But Nike, we already started the conversation. It was like, all right, let's, what are we doing? Mm. You know, I eventually want to design, um, Sneakers, yeah. like a cool pair of sneakers or something, like really design it, not just bringing back the old Terror Squad. New silhouette like, or something. Yeah. Maybe New York versus New York, mm-hmm. you know, curated by Fat Joe, the sneaker, and yeah. just go crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? We're here to support. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. a funny dude. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you're a real funny dude, man. <laughs> like a clown? Cause, no, not like a clown. It's just <laughs> you, you're a very clever guy. You're a witty yes. guy. Your mind, I've I seen your mind open up in one second. When I told you that, <laughs> you said, man, this guy's making a play. <laughs> He's making a play live yep. on the show. Yep. The big boy is throwing it out there. <laughs> He's trying to see. He peeped it in one second. He He's said, quick. oh, this guy's smooth. He's quick. <gasps> There's something like that would be great. Listen, we can't thank you enough for giving us your time. Mm -hmm. We're so excited about okay. this. You know, we, we've had you on all of our shows. Back in the day, we did it sneaker shopping in the Bronx. I've had mm. you. And, and FSR, Classic. but yeah, this is this is like a great win for everyone, and uh, congratulations from us. Thank you, my brother. The way y'all setting it up now, it feels like you know when the guy wins the presidency that night, and they all got the round table, and mm -hmm. everybody's giving. This is great, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm working. I'm in the streets. I'm delivering, guys. If you see me out there in the Fat Joe truck, the TS truck. I'm making it happen out there in the streets. Amazing. Beautiful. All right, everyone. You heard it. This has been the Complex Sneakers Show. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next week.